My next step in designing my jig is to have a look at it, and there's many things I can do next. So next I'm going to design a collet to go on this shaft to clamp it. So first I'm going to use the measure function, and I'm going to measure what the OD of this is, because I don't remember. So it's two inches, that's great. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to start a new inch part. So I want to design a collet with a two inch ID. That's going to be Revolve Boss. I'll select Revolve Boss, expand this, and I'll work in the front plane. I'll start by creating my center line. I'm going to push escape, use mouse gestures to activate line, and I want a hole in it that's two inches. So I'm going to come up here, click, create the angle, come down, and close my shape. Again, I'll use mouse gestures to activate dimension, and the hole is two inches. I'll make this angle, whoops, I'll push escape to leave that. I'll make the angle 15 or 16 degrees. I'll go with 15. I'll make this length one inch. And then I'll make this diameter three inches. And later I'll add a thread on that diameter. So my sketch is fully defined. I'll right click and exit the sketch. It sees the center line to revolve around. I want a full 360 degree revolve and I'll say OK. Later, I'll come back to all my parts and add appropriate materials. For now, I just want to focus on the part creation. So this is how I'll clamp the part. Obviously, I need to design the seat that this will pull down into. And then I have to ask myself, well, how will this pull down into the seat to clamp? Well, there'll be a threaded portion here. So I'm going to select this face and look normal too. And now I want to add an extrude boss. So I'm going to convert the entities. So I'll select convert entities and I'll convert this edge and this edge. I'll right click to accept. I'll exit my sketch. And this now is how thick do I want the threaded portion. So I'd like that a half inch. I'll right click and accept that. I'll look at it isometrically. As I design my collet, I need to think about how it will function. So I'm going to go back. I'll control tab back to my part. So there'll be another plate here that holds the receiver for the collet and the collet, and there'll be a nut that tightens up. I just come over here and I look at the preview of the initial one I showed you. So in the preview, we can see we have a plate there. We have a collet. There's a receiver in the plate for the collet and a nut to pull the collet tight around my part. So I want to think about that as I'm designing my collet. So I'm going to control tab back to the collet. And when the nut turns on here, I would like an undercut portion here so the nut doesn't end or run out of thread, but it meets the plate. So to do that, I'm going to again go back and look at my planes. I'll select my front plane and look normal too. This time I want to make a revolve cut. And I'm just going to use mouse gestures to activate circle. I'm going to click here, move out and click to create the circle. Use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension. And I'll make the diameter of this circle 3 16 I'll exit the sketch. I'll go back to the isometric view and I'm going to come to the all seeing eye and I'm going to turn on the view of the temporary axis. Click in white space and I'll tell it to rotate around that axis and right click to accept it. I'm going to shut the visibility at the axis off and that's good. So next I want to think about well I need a thread on this and I would like some chamfers as well. So I'm going to select this edge I'm going to activate chamfer. Now this chamfer should be deeper than the thread depth. So the thread depth I'm going to put over here plus the desired chamfer. I'm just going to activate my calculator. So to calculate the depth of the external 60 degree thread it's going to be 0.61343 times the pitch. And I'm going to use a 3 inch 16 thread so the pitch is 0.0625 so the depth of the thread is roughly 40 thou. So I'll make my chamfer size 50 thou. And I'll chamfer all these edges and I'll right click to accept that. So, so far it looks good. And the next thing I want to do is I want to add a cosmetic thread. So from the drop down menu, I'm going to select insert, annotations, cosmetic thread. And I'm going to tell it to start at this diameter and I get a preview right away. If I go to the standard, I'll choose inch, I don't think it'll have three inch threads in here and it doesn't. So that's fine, I'll just go back and tell it there is no standard. And I need to put the minor diameter here. Well, I'm just going to put the equation. So I'm going to say it equals 
three minus we'll put two brackets again it's 0.61343 times the pitch of a sixteenth to calculate the thread depth I'll put another bracket and then I'm going to multiply that by two because it's a radial calculation and I want a diameter here it tells me my equation's good I'll accept it and for the thread call out for now I'm just going to add the three dash sixteen I'll fix it up later and I'll say okay and I have my cosmetic thread. Went up to next. I don't want to see the annotations, so I'm going to right click on annotations and uncheck display annotation. So the final step in making my collets, I have to add some slits so that it can tighten up on the part as it's pulled down into the receiver. So I'm going to select this face and I'll look normal to it. And I'm going to tell I'm going to make an extrude cut. And I'm just going to use the center point rectangle. So I'll click here, move out and click and push escape. I want this edge and this edge to be tangent. I'll activate smart dimension with mouse gestures and I'll make this 1 32nd wide. Now this could be cut with a slitting saw prior to heat treating or with a wire EDM after heat treating. I'm going to put it on our wire EDM after I harden it. So I'm going to exit that sketch. I'll look at this part isometrically. I'm going to set the end condition to offset from surface because I want to come close to this surface. So I'll select that face, rotate back and make sure I can see the offset. And I'll make the offset distance 3 16 quarter inch would work. I just don't want it too thin up here, but I want it so it can collapse. And I'll say OK. And I have that cut. So next, I'm going to add a full round fillet here. So I've gone ahead and I've added a full round fillet here and here and then I'm going to add another cut to this face. So I'll select it, look normal to, extrude cut and I, again I'm going to add that same center point rectangle but this time I'll do it this way. So I'll push escape, select my outer edge, whoops, try that again, select the outer edge, hold control, select this edge, make them tangent make them tangent, activate smart dimension, dimension at 1 32nd, exit the sketch, look at the isometric view, and again the end condition will be offset from surface, I'll select this face this time, I'll leave the 3 16 I'll rotate to make sure it's correct, it is, I'll right click and say OK, and now I've cut my collet. So I need to go back in and I'm going to add a full round fillet here, Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've added full round fillets to all my slits. And the last thing I want to do is I want to do a circular pattern of these. So I'm going to select this first cut extrude. I'm going to hold shift and select the last fillet. Then I'm going to come up to the drop down arrow by linear pattern, select circular pattern. And for the direction, I'll just select the ID and I'll rotate about that. I've got three instances. That looks good. I'll say OK. And I've created my collet. So I'm going to put it in the isometric view. I'll save that, and in the next video, we'll continue from there.